Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Melissa and I post new videos every Thursdays on my channel about fashion, beauty, vlogs. So today I'm actually coming back to you guys with a review. As I probably said it in my last video or one of my latest videos, I did a poll actually on YouTube asking which type of videos you guys like the most and you told me or it was pretty like close between day in the lives, like like vlogs, I guess, and reviews, like perfume reviews, fashion reviews. And to be honest, I haven't been really buying a lot of fashion or beauty or perfume for that matter lately because I did just move, so I was prioritizing paying for things for the house. But today I have a bag review for you guys, and it's so funny because it's a Ted Baker bag review. And if you've been on my channel or subscribed to my channel since the very beginning, you know you know the drama behind Ted Baker bags on my channel. And if you want to skip to the actual review, I will try to put the timestamps or just skip like a few minutes ahead because I'm going to do an intro because this is important, guys. On my channel, I've talked about Ted Baker many, many times. I love the brand. It's definitely a girly, pink, delicate, elegant brand that I love so much. And I do own quite a few things from the brand, especially like um, makeup bags, and things like that. I also have some jewelry. Um, I really love Ted Baker. But one of my very first videos that I filmed in English, because I actually started my channel in French, but one of the first videos in English, I think it's actually like the second that I did, was <laughs> kind of a very bad review about one of the Ted Baker bags I had. And I'm gonna link the video around the screen. It has, I think, 50k views, which is a lot for my small channel. It's my most popular video. Got a lot of hate on it, but honestly, I don't regret posting it. I do not have that particular bag anymore because I just sold it. it. Really, I was not happy with it. Really did not like it. So I did a pretty negative review and ended up selling the bag like last year, I think, because I wore it like twice, literally. After my bad experience, I actually didn't really want to buy any Ted Baker bags, especially like the cheaper versions. But recently I decided to go for a new bag, which I'm going to show you right now. So this bag that I actually recently got is called the Sukon bag, if I'm not mistaken. And it's this one, hoping that the camera shows um, the color well. I feel like it might not be really accurate. I will definitely put a few uh, close-ups of it and other clips so you can have a better idea. But like this you can see a bit quickly what it looks like. So this bag, I recently bought it um, not off the official website because they were out of stock and I think they still are. I think they only have the black one left right now. But I got it from like an e-commerce, whatever. I'll link everything down below anyways. So if you want to purchase it, you can just go into the description box below and purchase it yourself. Um, I always link everything. But yeah, I got this bag from Ted Baker recently because I I needed a new work bag. Um, I'm gonna show you right now. So I just need to open it a bit. It reminds me of the PVC drama that was super hard to open. But this one, thank God, it's actually made out of polyester. So it says that the shell outer, which is this part of the bag, like the outer part of the bag, is 100% polyvinyl chloride, and the inner is 100% polyester, and this is why it's not a rigid bag. Even though it looks very similar to the bag I bought a few years ago, it is not PVC, so it's not plastic, and it means not rigid, which is what I wanted. It's very, very big. Inside it's all pink. I got the pink version, like the baby pink. So inside, actually, it's a bit um, of a lighter baby pink. Actually, inside is really baby pink while the outside is more of this light pink going towards beige. Um, I really hope the clips will show you better with the better lighting for sure. But it is definitely a beautiful girly color that I love so much. It is very very big as well. I'm able to put it on my shoulders like so. Therefore that's what I wanted for a um, you know work bag. I didn't want something that I could only you know carry like that because I carry a lot of things. It's very, very heavy and I need something very practical. So just for um, information, so you have a bit of an idea, the dimensions of the bag is 34, um, 50 centimeters for the height of the bag. And funnily enough, I didn't realize that it was actually a perfect square. I feel like on camera we see it as a square, but in person I thought it was more of a rectangle, but it's 34.5 centimeters and the same here. And then inside, you basically can open up to that much, and I think that's around 13 centimeters, 
oof, let me show you. So like that, as you can see, that's the maximum. I haven't used it yet because I really want to show it all brand new and nice on camera, first of all. And second of all, this is more of a spring summer bag. I do feel like now when it's raining, even snowing and all that stuff, I just don't really feel like I want to use this bag yet because obviously um, it doesn't close. I usually always keep my bag on my arm like that and very close to me. So it would be very hard to steal anything easily. And obviously if it's raining and stuff, that's where I would be quite concerned. This is why I haven't yet um, used it, but I'm really excited to finally use it because my other bag that I have is just, it looks so bad. Like it's literally falling apart. It does not look professional. Another little thing that I love about this bag too is that you have Ted Baker engraved right here, Ted Baker London to be exact. And I love it because it's visible, but it's not too visible. Like it's not an obvious logo or obvious brand name in your face. So that's also something I love. It seems to be quite sturdy, quite strong, which is what I need if I, you know, have a computer to put in here. But yeah, so it fits my computer for sure. I think there's even that much space on top once I put my computer in there. It fits a lot of different things too. So I've been loving that. And what else can I tell you about it? I mean, that's kind of all I can say, really. I mean, it's definitely a girly bag, I think. It's perfect for all the girly girls out there that want something easy. Um, it's a tote bag, obviously, and you don't necessarily need to wear it for, you know, work. You could also just put things when you're running errands. I love that it's very, very thin and that you can store it super easily anywhere. Like, um, it really does not take any space. It's extremely uh, light as well. So that's awesome if you want to put a lot of things in here and just, you know, for storage, it's, it's really interesting to know that. I feel like it could be also a travel bag, but I would not be able to really put it under the um, seat if I travel with, for example, by plane because obviously it's like a pretty tall bag. And the handles, also the problem is that they're quite rigid though, <laughs> to be honest, like they would not fall easily, I feel like, like they really stay up. So that's just maybe the downside of this bag, but otherwise, honestly, I'm very, very happy with it. I feel like maybe I'll make you a quick update one day on my channel, like in a vlog, I'll tell you how I've been loving that bag, or I will also maybe talk about it on my Instagram too, but so far so good, honestly, I'm very happy with this new purchase and I'm very, very excited to actually use it finally because it's been waiting for a while because I didn't know when to film this video. So so yeah, so that's my little video about um, this new Ted Baker bag. It's a very quick one. I will link it below, of course, because I just realized I was looking on my phone on the Ted Baker website that they actually have many colors. Many of them are actually discontinued, like sold out because I guess um, it is more of an old bag and also with the sales that happened and all that I feel like it might be harder to find it but I'll try to always link it below and if they ever go back in stock you at least have this video to go to to just make sure that you actually want this bag um, but it exists like in black which is one that is still available from what I see on the website there's a gray version still available as we speak and then they had like a bunch of others I had no idea like they had um, obviously the pink they had yellow they had blue I did not know they had that many so it was it was such a random bag but I ended up loving it so much so definitely let me know down below what you thought about this quick um, and easy review I always talk too much because I like to talk about other things than just the actual bag I feel like that's nice to just give it a bit of a uh, a bit more of a um, context let's say and I think that's pretty much it so um, hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video next week goodbye everyone